Hey everybody, this is Dan Strong with Excel VPS Fun. And today I want to show you a program that I wrote for uh, my church, Father's Arms Church, that's in uh, Missouri here. Anyway, uh, I, you know, some of the things I want to do, I want to teach you, and other things I want to inspire you. This is one of those inspire moments. I really hope that this inspires you to do really great things in Excel with your programming skills that you're learning right here at Excel VBA is fun. So here's what, what we've done. It's a church attendance tool and um, this is uh, I guess you could use it for your work or something as well but this is where we take attendance um, because I know at the end of the year they do ask you know how many people you know what's your average monthly or your average whatever and I think insurance companies and maybe the feds and a bunch of people ask you what your attendance is like so I thought hey I'm gonna devise a tool that's gonna help them keep track of that so usually we have the sound guy do it without much uh, further ado I'm gonna go ahead and click here for the program I put a nice little picture of a home there that's your home screen so you click here and it brings up this nice little attendance program what this does is as soon as it loads up, it loads up the master list of people. Um, actually, it boots up whoever is marked as active. If you wanted to include an active, you could click this include inactive below. And now you have all the people's names there. So I'm going to take those back out. And this is the people who uh, more regularly uh, attend and everything. So um, what we're going to do is uh, actually. Um, I'll show you around a little bit and you might have some ideas for something that you might want to do. So just for fun, I'm going to type in um, Dan and I'm going to click search. Let's say I was looking for uh, for Dan. So I click search. So there's several things that have Dan in it. I was looking for my own name so I'm going to I'm going to click move over to attended. So I moved my name over uh, that I attended. and I'll clear the search here. Um, so you should notice that my name yeah, my name no longer uh, is over here in the list. Now if I click this and I removed it, then my name is back over here on the uh, master list of active attendees. So I'm going to put myself back, back over to attended. Let's take a look at the attendance log. That's this worksheet right here. You can hide this or you can leave it unhidden like I have for easy maintenance. You see the date has been posted right here and the, uh, the meeting A of A, B, or C in case there's three meetings that day okay so uh, my name's right there and then uh, I attended today even though there really wasn't a service today on the 15th uh, service A so and then watch what happens if I come here and I go here and I remove the selected name from the attended list uh, let's take a look at the attendance log well by Jove it's not there anymore what happened to it now if I had deleted it um, deleted that row uh, it would have taken a lot longer it would have blinked and everything one of the secrets that I use here which I will delve into in more detail is I've learned a neat trick what you could do is you can actually have it use a, just select you can have it go in and do a, what's called a clear contents uh, range blah 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 a whatever through whatever dot clear contents and then what you do is you just have it resort uh, this list and believe it or not it'll actually sort this list even if it's like a hundred thousand deals it'll sort that in a blip compared to deleting a row for some reason it just takes a lot more out of it to delete an entire row um, of data so that's a neat little trick you can clear contents clear contents as needed and then have it resort the whole thing the way you want it to appear and then it looks like just it just kind of disappeared so anyway that's how this works so let's say and by the way none of us care that our names are on here um, you can find those at fathersarmsfellowship.org anyway so or FAFSC for fathersarmsfellowship uh, scottcity.org and you'll see our names on the, all over there anyway so it's not a big mystery or secret so Rich is our praise and worship leader so let's say that uh, Rich was definitely there and Daniel uh, you'll be seeing him on our music channel. Uh, Daniel does beatboxing, and he's very extremely amazing. So he's going to teach that soon. So Daniel and his dad, Rich, is a talented guitarist. Um, let's say they both attended, and then uh, let's say uh, Robbie Ryan, uh, Vicky, Nikki, and David all all attended, 
And uh, Ryan and Nikki, um, let's see, they just had a they just had a, a baby boy. So congratulations. So let's click add a new person. Let's add a new person. Let's let's say his name is John. And uh, his status is active. And uh, I'm not going to put any of the other information. John does not have a spouse because he is a newborn baby. Membership date. Um, I don't know. Let's just save what we got here. So John Brandt has now been added. So let's look on the list and see if that's been added here. I may have to refresh the list. Oh, B for Brandt, huh? Uh, so we'll click. Uh, let's go down a date and back up, and maybe it, that should refresh it. Okay. Well, let's see here. Let's do a search. Maybe it uh, considered that. There's John. So move over to attended, and then that's part of the attended list. So let's take a look one more time at our attendance log. And there at the bottom, you see we have uh, several more people attended at the current service A on the current date. And that's how that works. Um, so you saw us adding a new person. You can also edit members, select the member, and their stuff will come up. And you can change them to an inactive or something like this. Um, or change any of their stats, and that will save in the people worksheet down here. Um, and pretty much if you just choose a different service, this will change all this stuff. We'll re-update and refresh. Let's go back to service A. So, and if you click this refresh pivot reports, it does just that. It just refreshes the any pivot tables of the hidden worksheets. So, also, uh, I, I guess I had a, a button for loading the date whenever you change the date and click that, but I think right now it refreshes as soon as you click the up or down arrows or even if you change the date. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that we did that. So, um, a quaint little program. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but I think it's pretty cool because you can go back to last week and uh, let's see, I guess. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if this was completely updated, but you can, you'll can you have a history log of who all attended, and that's based off of the attendance log right here. And um, not only that, if we unhide the, we have a uh, this is one of the pivot tables. Now we had to we have to use Excel 2003 uh, at church, so that's why it's an XLS file, and that's why we can't have super fancy pants uh, pivot tables. But it does keep a log, and you can um, minimize the year and see the grand total for the year. And again, I think whoever was doing attendance didn't know everybody's names very well, so. Um, we're kind of doing a fill-in thing here. So that is the attendance program and what I, like I said, what my attention was is to inspire you that you can make some killer programs if you just put your mind to it. And there's a lot of bells and whistles that could be added to this program, believe me, I know that. But this is the basis of what they needed is a way, and a, a way to track things and not have to type their names a gazillion times. Because that would take forever to type their names. And if you typed your names, or excuse me, even if they did type the names every week, it would be spelled differently each week, and it would have a comma or wouldn't have a comma, and it'd be you know. So this program is actually keeping it so uniform, so that you could do a sum if or a count if on somebody's name, and it will be exactly the same every time, and so that way you can actually total it up because the fact that they're predetermined and you can't type over them, you can simply move them or remove them. That uniformity is what I'm talking about. That's the automation that you need to bring to the table whenever you are, uh, whenever you're in, in a, a company environment. So that's what you can do. I hope that this inspired you. That you can do all kinds of awesome programs. So another one. Uh, uh, this one will not be available at this time on the Dropbox. So uh, hopefully, don't ask me too much about that, guys. Um, this does have our actual attendance records and. We're just going to keep this one private for now, but if you have questions on, on a little thing here or there, maybe we'll do some tutorials and kind of break down how we created this program, and uh, maybe we can help you with your projects. So thanks for watching. God bless.